Hey guys, today I'm going to do an app called Piehole for you guys. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know what Piehole is, Piehole is basically a DNS and and ad router level DNS ad blocking. So it does a whole lot of other things besides that, but I'm going to focus just on ad blocking today. And just like always, I'm going to add some host pass. So in case we lose our apps pool for whatever reason, we could always come back and do this. So Piehole is going to need two data sets. One's going to be config. We're going to set that to apps. The other one is going to be for our DNS, and that's going to be a little bit different than we usually do. So let's add another data set here. We're going to call this one DNS. We're going to leave this generic, and we're going to save that. So the pool list. Now I want to come over here, and I want to edit these permissions, and I just want to open up all these permissions, just like that. Okay. Now we got our data set set up. Let's come over here and find Piehole. Let's install this. We're going to install, well, I'm going to use an insecure password. You guys are going to use a secure, a secure password. You'll see the DNS port here. Don't change this. Uh, what you're going to need to do in order to make this work is you're going to need to go to your router settings and wherever your router is asking for the DNS address, uh, you're going to want to use this address and you're going to want to have a second address in here as a backup in case this one goes down like 8888, which is Google or 1111, which is Cloudflare or 9999, which is Quad9. Uh, so leave that DNS port there. Web port doesn't matter. Let's come over here and add our new config files. And this is config. And it's going to want one for the DNS. DNS. Leave everything else the same. Okay, we are up and running. So let's open up our web UI and log in for the first time. Okay, this is our dashboard. You'll notice we have 121,000 domains in our ad list already. And that's because we come, this program ships with a stock custom ad list, which is great. It's actually pretty good. Um, most people are going to want to add different ad lists to this. And the reason for that is this is just a generic one. They make a billion different ad lists for Piehole and for all sorts of different things. So if you have children, you might want to block pornography, but there's everything like drugs, crypto, Facebook, Fortnite, fraud, gambling, malware, uh, phishing, piracy. There's all sorts of ad lists out there to block specific things. Don't go too crazy because you might say, hey, I want all that stuff. Dump all those ad lists on there. What may end up happening is you may end up blocking the site that you need. And I'm going to get to what to do that in a minute. Um, but let's figure out how to, I'll show you right now how to add a different ad list in here. So one of the common ad lists that's get the, it's added is this one right here, which I'm going to paste in the video description. And this is the one that's used by uBlock Origin, one of the most famous add-ons for Firefox for ad blocking. So let's add that here. And you're going to see it's added to the list. But when I go to my dashboard, I don't have any more ad lists. The reason for that is I need to do what's called update my gravity. So I'm going to go to my tools, update gravity, I'm going to click update. Every time I add an ad list, I need to update gravity, wait till it says success, come back to our dashboard, here's all our new domains. So when I come over here, we can see everything is good. My new one that I just added here for uBlock, big green check. Now let's say, for example, I did that and all of a sudden the website I want to go to, I can't reach anymore. For whatever reason, I can't get to it. You can always come over here to disable blocking and you can say disable blocking for this little period of time. And if you disable blocking and then you can reach the website, it's probably because you're blocking it at the router level. So you will see that all over here when your dashboard actually is populated with data, you'll see all the blocks. But let's say that happens. Say you actually end up doing that. You're going to want to come over here to domains and you're going to want to say domain to be added. Uh, and you can add the exact domain that you're looking for. And you're going to want to say add that to the whitelist. That'll allow you to get around your own block just in the event that you want to keep an ad list on there. But one of those websites you want to allow uh, your traffic out to. So that's kind of how you do that. Within your settings, um, you're not going to want to touch a whole lot of things in here. So your DNS, you might want to change your upstream service. So right now it's set to 8888, which is Google. I use Quad9. You can use Cloudflare. IPv4, IPv6, whatever you want to do. Don't touch the interface settings. Uh, you can change some stuff down here for advanced DNS, but I don't usually like to touch a whole lot of these settings at all. It's fine. Uh, there's other settings in here for things like the web interface. You can change your CPU. There's all kinds of other little things in here. Um, in the event that you want to do stuff, you can back up your configuration file, which we're not going to need to do because we have a host, pass, host path configuration set up, but just in case. Um, I would also include some lists for other ad blocks in the other ad lists um, that are common out there. 
I'm actually going to walk you through how to do that right now real fast. So I'm going to come over here and I'll show you one of the GitHub pages with a whole bunch of block lists on it. So this is a whole bunch of block lists. Let's say we don't want anything involving drugs, for example, on our home network. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to find the raw file. I'm going to copy that to my pie hole. I'm going to go to my add list. I'm going to add this and I'm going to say this is drugs. I'm going to add that in here. Okay, it hasn't been processed yet, you'll see, because we have to update our gravity. Let's update our gravity. Okay, gravity is updated. Our new dashboard now contains 176,000 domains. And if we go back to our ad list, you'll see we get the big green check. And that's pretty much Pi-hole. Now, Pi-hole can do a lot of other cool things. Like, for example, if you want to set a DNS name for a local thing, so instead of me having 10.99.0.191, I can just type in HTTP colon slash slash TrueNAS and come right here. You can do that within Pi-hole by setting local DNS names for some of the local things you're running. There's a whole bunch of other things that Pi-hole does as well. I recommend you go out there and watch a YouTube video on it. Today, it was just really about getting it up and running, showing you guys some ad lists, showing you guys whitelisting just in case you block yourself out. Um, and just some basic functionality of the dashboard.